Then please continue. Thank you, Alice. Excuse me. Pardon. Um, just for the record. For the record, we are now in public session, Your Honour. And thank you very much. Indeed, it's proper to reflect that on the record. Um, Ms. Allegantra, we are now in public session. Please continue. Witness, we are in public session now. Um, again, remember the admonition given to you earlier to when we are in public session to um, listen carefully. You will always have to listen carefully anyway. But just um, ensure that your answers do not um, inject um, information that's unique to you that will make it easier for people um, to identify who you are, members of the public. Okay. Very good morning to you, madam. Good morning. I hope you rested well. Yes. Madam, this morning, what I'd like to discuss with you is the PNU structure and campaigns. Okay? <coughs> Madam, you told the court yesterday, the day before in fact, that you were part of the Warembo Nakibaki campaign group. Am I right? Yes. And Madam, the presidential campaign secretariat is called Kibaki Tena, isn't it? Yes. And that means Kibaki again. Am I right? Yes. And under the Kibaki Tena, you have various groups, campaign groups. Am I right? Yes. And one of those groups, madam, was the Warembo na Kibaki. Yes? Yes. And just for the, for the understanding of the court, could you tell the judges, please, what Warembo means? Young ladies campaigning for Kibaki. And there is also the Vijana na Kibaki. Am I right? Yes. And who were they? Young men campaigning for Kibaki. And there was also one mama na Kibaki. Correct? Yes. And madam, am I right that the Kibaki Tena campaign secretariat <coughs> was based in Nairobi during the 2007 campaign period? Yes. And would I be right to say that you have a basic understanding of the structure of Kibaki Tena? Yes? Yes. And am I right, madam, that the chairman of the Kibaki Tena was one Mr. Lee Karuri? Am I right? In Nairobi? Yes. In Nairobi or in Eldoret? In Nairobi, madam. In Nairobi, I don't know. And madam, there were also other officials that were part of the Kibaki Tena campaign structure in Nairobi. One other individual would be a Mr. William Kirua. Do you recall that name? No. But from his name, would you agree with me he's a Kalenjin? Yes.
Now, madam, do you recall somebody by the name of John Kip Courier Kip Tu? No. If I can remind you, he was part of the PNU Presidential Elections Board and he was also coordinating the election campaigns and PNU nominations in the North Rift region. Does that help you remember him? Still no. But from his name. Oh, Adam, Miss, uh, I don't want to interrupt, but you might want to spell that name. I will. Um, okay. It's up to you when you do that. I will. Yeah. And, Madam, from his name, John Kip Courier Kip Tu. Am I right? He's a Kalenjin? Yes. And you know, for the record, Kip Korir is spelled K I P K O R I R, and Kip Tu is K I P T double O. Madam, do you recall that the PNU Director of Elections in 2007 was Ken <coughs> Zioka? I can't recall. And for the record, this yoka is N Z I O K A. And madam, from his name, are you able to say he was a Kamba? Yes. Madam, you will agree with me that there was a Vijana Nakibaki group based in Nairobi. Am I right? Yes. Did you know some of the individuals who were part of the Vijana Nakibaki in Nairobi? Yes. Could you assist the court please with the names of the people you knew that were part of this group? Your Honor, I'm sorry to interrupt, but I just want to point out that we are in public session. So if the question is um, some of the people that the witness personally knew, uh, that might not, be, might not be the best decision to do this publicly, we should go into private session. Your Honor, these are individuals that anyone involved in the PNU campaign would know. It will not single the witness out in any way. Witness. What you will do is, if you know the names, just say the names. Do not add anything like whether you know them personally or whether they are related to you. You know, we do not have that sort of information. But just if you have any names, just give them. Can you repeat the question? Madam, I was asking you to please assist the court with the names of some of the people who were part of Vijana Nakibaki in Nairobi. George Murara. And am I right that Morara is M-O-R-A-R-A? -R -A? Yes. Is there anybody else you knew, madam? Joseph Njoroge. And Joroge is spelled N J O R O G E. Am I right? Yes. Do you recall any others? No. These two individuals, Madam, George Morara, what was his ethnicity? He is a Kisi. You might want to lead. Your Honor, to be quite honest, I didn't know that myself. <laughs> um, 
a dangerous thing to do in cross-examination. <laughs> Took the risk, Your Honor. And Madam Joseph Joroge, he's a Kikuyu, isn't he? Yes. Madam, do you recall somebody by the name of Evans Go Samalango, who was part of Vijana Nakibaki in Nairobi? No. And for the record, Evans and Go is spelled G O R, and Samalango is spelled S E N E L A N G, apostrophe. Oh. Do you want to write the name, Madam? Shall I spell it for you again? Evans, E V A N S, Go, G O R, Samalango, S E M E L A N G. Apostrophe O. You went too fast. S E M E L A N G Apostrophe O. Does that name ring a bell? Does that name mean something to you? No. Still no. And am I right, madam, that from the sound of his name, it's clear he's a Luo? Yes. The next person, madam, Jack Wamboka. W A M. B O K A. Do you recall him being part of Vijana Nakibaki in Nairobi? No. But from the sound of his name, you're able to tell he's a lawyer, isn't it? Yeah, yes. The next person. Thomas Mbewa, M B E W A. Does that name mean something to you? No. And I'm correct, he is a Luo. Am I not, madam? That one can see, yes. Um, did you say that one you are unable to say yes? Yes. Adam, I would like to now ask you some questions about the PNU campaign operations in the north. Rift Valley region. Okay? Yeah. I think you might be able to provide more information about that since it's in your area. Now, madam, am I right? There was a Kibaki Tena Secretariat for the North Rift region that was situated in Eldoret. Yes. And am I right? The PNU Regional Coordinator for Kibaki Tana in the North Rift was Abraham Limo. Yes. He's a Kalenjin, isn't he, madam? Yes. And madam, the PNU The first name for the record, Your Honor, is Abraham 
Lemon. Madam, the PNU coordinator for Elder at North constituency. His name was William Rono. Am I correct? <coughs> yes. He was a Calendon, was he not, madam? Yes. And madam, the Bijana Nakibaki coordinator for Mossop constituency was Samuel Kimeli Koski. Am I right? Yes. Also a Kalenjin? Yes. The PNU Deputy Organizing Secretary for Elder at North constituency was Mr. Bethwell Ruto. Am I right? Yes. And Madam, Mr. Stephen <coughs> Tarus, T-A-R-U-S. In the 2007 elections, he was contesting for the M. Gwen seat on a PNU ticket, was he not? Not familiar with that. But you have heard of Stephen Tarus? Yes. PNU politician in the area? Yes. And do you recall, madam, that during the 2007 campaigns, Mr. Bethwell Ruto was actively campaigning for Mr. Stephen Tarus. You recall that, don't you? No. Madam, the PNU secretary in Kiplombe Ward was Mr. Sami Kiptanui Kosge. Kiptanui spelled K I P T A N U I. Am I right? <coughs> in Nutel. Council. Uh, the, the Mr. Bethwell Ruto you mentioned is in the relation of your client? Your client. No, Your Honor. Um, Madam, the constituency secretary for the PNU in Eldred North was Mr. Meshak Yebe. Am I right? Still I can tell. Madam, from the names I've mentioned, Bethwell Ruto, Sami Kiptanui Kosge, Meshak Yebe, Stephen Tarus. I am correct, am I not? that they are all Kalenjin. You are correct. Madam, you are familiar with a PNU politician, <coughs> a lady by the name of Jane Wangoi. Are you not? Yeah. She was contesting for the position of councillor of Market Ward on a PNU ticket in the 2007 elections. Am I correct? Yes. And after the elections, madam, she was appointed as a woman leader for the PNU. Correct? Correct.
Madam, could I trouble you to help me spell Wangoi? Okay. Please. W A N G O I. Thank you. Madam, am I correct that during the 2007 elections, the PNU was reaching out for the votes of every Kenyan across Kenya? Am I correct? Yes. The PNU wanted the Kalenjin vote, the Luo vote, the Luya vote, the Kisi vote. They did, didn't they? Yes. And madam, in the same way, the ODM also wanted the votes of every Kenyan across Kenya. Am I right, madam? Yes. They wanted the Kikuyu vote, didn't they, madam? Yes. They wanted the Luo vote. Yes. The Kisi vote. Yes. And Madam, you will agree with me that in the 2007 elections, the ODM portrayed itself as a multi ethnic party. Would you agree with that? Can you rephrase? The ODM wanted to portray itself as a party which encompassed all ethnicities or most <coughs> ethnicities. Would you agree? Yes. You are familiar with the Pentagon? <coughs> within the ODM, are you? Yes. And you will agree with me that the following people that I will name were members of the Pentagon. Honorable Ryla Odinga, he was part of the Pentagon, wasn't he? Yes. He's a Luo. Yes. Charity Ngilu, she's a Kamba. Yes. Council, is that in dispute? All those propositions and the only issue so that we do not overwork the witness in terms of our testimony. It's not just about you, it's how long we stay here. And perhaps the uh, prosecution may want to stipulate to that, Your Honor. As to the members of the Pentagon and their ethnicities? Yes, Your Honor. Your Honours, if, if the defence had come to us at an appropriate time, we might be able to stipulate. But to do that right now, in the spur of things, it's difficult for the prosecution to stipulate these things. Then continue. Your Honour, this is my difficulty. If you'll allow me, Your Honour, to proceed. Thank you. We spoke about Charity Ngilu, didn't we, witness? Yes. William Ruto. He's a Kalenjin, is he not? Yes. Musalia Mudavedi. He's a Luo. Luya, I'm sorry. Yes. Najib Balala. He's from the Coast Province. Yes. Joseph Nyaga. He's from the Central Province. Am I right, madam? Yes. And you will agree that there were also other prominent Kikuyus who were part of the ODM? Yes. Council, if somebody from, from the coast province, can that person not be a, a Kikuyu? Somebody from the central 
province can that person not be a Kalenjin? I don't know. It, it seems to me that you are eliciting ethnicities, but that question is begged, so maybe you can yes. deal with it later. Your Honor, I can either deal with it later, or if Your Honours will permit me, I'll ask my uh, learned senior counsel, Katwa Kiven, to assist me to answer that question, Your Honour. It's not from your... You don't need to give evidence as counsel. I'm, I'm saying evidence that needs to be on the record. He will not come from counsel. Your Honours, we will explore this with other witnesses. Thank you, Your Honour. Your Honours, I would request that we go into a private session for five minutes or less. Uh, let's go into private session then.